In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how we can mask areas of a normal map. This is really useful if you have a tileable texture and you want to have areas where it doesn't show up. And I was trying to match the reference when I use this technique, as you can see. So let's jump into how we do that. In the Arnold surface shader, under the geometry section where it says bump mapping, I have plugged my normal map. By default, when you plug in your normal map file, it will create a bump 2D node. We don't want to use that. We want to swap that out for an AI normal map node where you plug your normal map into the input area. And that's because this strength part of it is where we are going to plug a texture that we mask the normal map with. I'm going to press tab and create a noise texture. I'm using a noise but you can use any kind of texture to, to do this. It's going to be a black and white texture that's going to work best because where it's black it's going to show none of your normal map and where it's white it's going to show full normal map. So to connect this I'm going to select my AI normal map and then hover my mouse over the noise press the middle mouse button and drag it onto the strength area and let go. And that's gonna connect it for me. If I press play now, the results aren't really what I was looking for and that's because I need to adjust my noise to give me the right kind of black and white map. So a top tip to do that is if I press this circle and dash line button, that's called isolate select. And what that does in the Arnold render view is it's going to isolate parts of my hypershade. So if I select the normal map, I can see what the normal map looks like. But if I select the noise, this is showing me exactly what the noise looks like. And I can see that there's not many areas of black on this. So I'm gonna just tweak some of the settings here. And now if I turn off the isolate select, I can see that there's areas where my normal map has been completely masked. And I really love this method because it's just a really nice procedural way to add some variation to a tileable texture that you otherwise would need to go into a texturing software to achieve.